Washington, American service members will not deploy to Ukraine in the event of a distinctly possible Russian invasion, but strong economic sanctions imposed by the United States and its allies could reverberate and prompt energy price spikes, President Joe Biden said in a live address from the W. Biden urged Russian President Vladimir Putin against an invasion of Ukraine, a former Soviet republic that borders Russia, saying there would be strong economic sanctions on Russia's largest financial institutions and most important industries, including the cancellation of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. The Russian response to those sanctions could lead to a spike in U.S. fuel prices, Biden said. If Russia decides to invade, it will have consequences here at home, Biden said. I will not pretend this will be painless. There could be impact on our energy prices. Biden gave few details, but pledged to use all the tools and authority the administration has to reduce any disruption to energy consumers. The administration is taking active steps to alleviate the pressure on our own energy markets, the president said. The administration would also work with Congress on additional measures to protect energy consumers, he said. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said during a press briefing following Biden's remarks that the administration would support any sanctions bill from Congress. Our view remains that a bipartisan effort would be the best effort forward, she said. A group of U.S. senators, including Democratic leader Chuck Schumer and Republican leader Mitch McConnell, released a rare joint statement Tuesday to deliver a bipartisan message of solidarity and resolve to the people of Ukraine and an equally clear warning to Vladimir Putin and the Kremlin. S. We are prepared to fully support the immediate imposition of strong, robust, and effective sanctions on Russia, as well as tough restrictions and controls on exports to Russia. Get the morning headlines delivered to your inbox since. Sherrod Brown, an Ohio Democrat, Pat Toomey, a Pennsylvania Republican, Robert Menendez, a New Jersey Democrat, Jim Risch, an Idaho Republican, Mark Warner, a Virginia Democrat, and Marco Rubio, a Florida Republican, were part of the group. A diplomatic path to ending the conflict still exists, Biden said. The U.S. has offered concessions in diplomatic talks to avoid a military confrontation, including new arms control measures, he said. He and Putin agreed to continue engaging in diplomacy, he said. If Putin declines those offers in favor of an invasion, it would be a war of choice with a disastrous human toll in Ukraine and an immense cost to Russia's standing in the international community, Biden said.